What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so today's video is super exciting because being in my fitness girly era, today I'm going to be showing you all what is in my climbing gym bag. So for all of the products I'm using, I will link them down below if you wanted to also check them out. So here is my gym bag for the climbing gym. It is this like sort of duffel bag in this blue-green like seafoam green color if you will. And honestly like you can sort of see, whoa, it fits the whole frame here. Sort of large, but literally it looks pretty full, doesn't it? So we're rocking up to the climbing gym with all of the gym gear now, and I'm like, wow. I guess we are true climbers now, having all of the gear, no longer needing to use the rental shoes or rental harness anymore. Now we roll up with the whole bag, everything. It is pretty funny. <laughs> I'm like, oh, are we posers now? But I guess we're stuck doing this activity because because we bought all of the stuff, so now you can't really quit, otherwise all of that money goes down the drain. So I like this gym bag because it is pretty large as well as it has a lot of pockets in it. So I picked this bag mainly because it has a shoe compartment here on the side. So if you open this part up, it has a separate area for your shoes, so it is completely blocked off from the rest of the bag. You know, your dirty, stinky shoes aren't touching whatever you have in the main compartment of the bag like clothes or other things you know so I wanted that separate area for shoes because when you're going to the climbing gym we literally bring three pairs of shoes we've got the shoes you're wearing to the gym and then I have two shoes in here so first up for shoes I have my pair of climbing shoes in there so I bring these to the gym you put them on when you're at the gym pretty typical I guess in order to go climbing and then for other shoes in this shoe compartment apartment. I've got a pair of slides. So especially for top roping when you're climbing those long walls, I will typically now like switch from my climbing shoes into slides so that my feet are like a little bit more comfortable, you know, rather than always having your feet squished in the tiny climbing shoes. You let the dogs breathe in between your climbs. You know, your toes, your dogs, a lot of people are like barefoot in the climbing gym. People typically climb barefoot as well. They're not wearing Wearing socks with their climbing shoes so in order to not walk on the ground with your bare feet you should bring some slides sandals flip-flops in order to walk around I have seen people walk into the bathroom barefoot which is a little bit grody <laughs> So I would bring another pair of shoes like this so you can switch from climbing shoes to other walking shoes to stand or go to the bathroom. Which speaking of like barefoot people, even for yoga people are doing it barefoot. Which my friend and I, we did acro yoga one time at the gym, which is a fun experience. You're doing like acrobatic yoga as the name suggests. And it's sort of funny because I walk by the yoga room and everyone is barefoot and I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, gotta take off my shoes and socks and the dogs are all free so <laughs> lots of dogs here but got the slides in that compartment as well so that is this side shoe compartment so then going into the top main compartment there are two zippers here one of the zippers goes into the main area and then this second zipper it actually has like a separate main kind of area so this second zipper it opens into like a plasticky area so I guess this is for you know dirty clothes or stinky things or wet things you're not putting those into your main compartment to make them stinky smelly dirty so I like having that separate area but for the day-to-day -day, don't really use it and then for the main compartment Usually I'll bring like jacket, sweatshirt, something there. I'll bring it in the gym bag because right now it is like very warm during the day, but then by nighttime when we're leaving the gym, it sort of gets a little bit cold, nippy. So having a sweatshirt is good when you're walking to the car, leaving the gym. So we got the Patagonia for the sweater. And then also in the main compartment, I have my chalk bag. I think I need to refill this because it's sort of running low. This is the chalk I've been using. I just got it offline and then you can refill 
your little chalk bag with the chalk from the bag. I've seen people just bring like this kind of thing to the gym and they'll just stick their hands in there, but chalk bag is helpful. You can bring it up on your climbs with you. And then finally in the climbing gym bag, I have my harness. So the harness comes with like a little mesh bag that you could put it into every time. I don't know. It's sort of hard to fit this harness into the small bag each time. So I've just been like sticking this into the gym bag and calling it a day. But obviously harness is very important if you're going top roping. So I've liked my purchased harness so far compared to the rental harnesses, which are very bulky. They are one size and you adjust it for your fit. For the harnesses, you can buy it more for your size. It just feels a lot more snug and safer. So that is everything for the gym bag. It has this like shoulder strap, so I'll just wear it on my shoulder, rocking up into the gym. And then I also bring my fanny pack to the gym. So I've been wearing it like this, like across the chest. And this is very helpful because it just opens up easy like that compared to wearing it like a regular fanny pack around your waist. In here, I just have all of the regular goods that you need. So like car keys and then a wallet, and then a cell phone, and then also I'll bring a water bottle. So any one of my collection of water bottles, I'll bring that with me to the gym as well. But pretty much those are the items for my gym bag. Pretty standard, I feel like. If there are other things that you think I should bring to the gym, pack in my bag, definitely let me know. So we are in this fun, fresh fitness era. I actually did my first unassisted pull-up the other day, so that was an accomplishment that is very exciting but yeah if you liked this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me thank you all so so much for watching and i will see you all next time Bye.